Hey everyone, Aaron here. Now you might find me familiar because I did co-host with my boss Seth in the past few episodes of Food Finders. So welcome to our brand new series called The Office Chef where we compare similar yet different ingredients and cooking methods to see how they ultimately affect the taste and appearance of the dish. As some of you might know, I used to be an ex-hotel chef for the past 14 years and now I'm a full-time food writer and in-house chef for chefluie.com. So this is our office kitchen, brand new. Huh? Look at the green, the nice green colour and the wooden tops. How I wish this is my house kitchen. So for today's first episode, we'll be making something that most of us like to eat for breakfast. Creamy scrambled eggs. So what we'll be using today is chicken eggs, quail eggs. And for the last one, this one might surprise you because it really really surprised me. It's vegan eggless eggs. Have you heard of this before? I've never lah. So now let's start preparing the eggs, shall we? For the first scrambled egg, I'll be cracking three eggs into a bowl. Next, we'll be adding like two pinches of salt. Then for this, it's about three tablespoons of cooking cream. If you do not have cream, you can also use milk as an alternative. Okay, so three simple ingredients. Eggs, salt and cooking cream. So I'll proceed to whisk the eggs. So usually I like to whisk, because the more you whisk it, right, you're incorporating more air into it and ultimately it will make the egg more fluffy. So we are done with the chicken eggs and let's move on to the next one. So for the next egg, we'll be using quail eggs. Now this is my first time using quail eggs for scrambled lah. Because usually I will use this as a boiled egg to put on my noodles or I will use it for egg benedict. So typically, one chicken egg is equivalent to about five quail eggs. So I'll be cracking 15 of them. So you can share with me. Ah. So similar to the previous egg, we'll add two pinches of salt, three tablespoons of cream. So similar to the chicken eggs, we'll whisk them and try to incorporate as much air as I can so that they'll be fluffy. So while whisking the eggs, right, I find that the consistency of the eggs is much, much more thicker than the chicken eggs. Okay, and we're done with the quail eggs. Let's move on to the last one. So for these vegan eggs, right, one packet is equivalent to five eggs. So I'll be using a three egg portion for this. This packet of vegan eggs is very cool because it comes with its own scoop. So typically, three scoops of this is equivalent to one egg. The powder doesn't really smell of anything. It doesn't smell of egg also. Okay, so for every three scoops, we'll be adding 40 ml of cooking cream. For vegans, they will tend to use water or plant-based milk. But for today, we'll be using just normal cooking cream because we want to keep the taste as similar as possible to the other two eggs. So after nine scoops of this, we will add 120 ml of cooking cream. And lastly, salt. Wow, as you can see, super thick, like oatmeal like that. Oh, that thick. <laughs> Is it plant-based milk or water? So I added cooking cream. We do one more where you add just milk instead of cream. And 120 ml of regular milk. This really, really doesn't look like an egg. It looks more like a, you know, better when you fry your tempura and stuff like that. So as you can see, the colour of the eggs is much more darker than your chicken eggs and quail eggs. And we're done. Let's cook our eggs. First, the chicken eggs. All you need is prepare a non-stick pan. Typically, I would prefer the heat to be a medium heat because if it's too hot, the butter will get brown easily and it will affect the taste of the egg. And the most important ingredient, butter. Because we chefs in the kitchen worship this ingredient like God. Right? Because butter makes everything more yummy, more creamy. So we'll be also using this ingredient for our scrambled eggs. So I'll add like a tablespoon worth of butter. Okay, so once the butter has melted, we'll add the chicken eggs in. So what I'm preparing today, right, is a French style kind of scrambled eggs. Because typically the American one has big curds like what you will find in your McDonald's big breakfast. So typically people tend to forget to we skin the sides because they will stick to the pan. So make sure you get everything in. So normally, when the scrambled is almost done, I will take it away from the heat and I will start to prepare to plate it. And here you go, the scrambled eggs using chicken eggs. So for the next egg we'll be using is quail egg. So same thing. Actually, I've never really cooked scrambled eggs with quail eggs before. So I'm really curious how does it turn out. And start whisking. Okay, now for the last one, the most curious of them all, the eggless eggs. So normally for vegans, they should typically use 
like olive oil, but for today, we will also be using butter. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. So I noticed that the egg actually coagulates faster than your regular eggs. Okay, for these eggless eggs, it's taking a slightly longer time than usual to form the curds. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, I have with me my two of colleagues, Gillian and Ansel. So they will help me to taste the three eggs that I've just made and they will tell me what are their comments. So shall we try the first egg? Sure. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. It's quite moist. I like it. It's not very heavy. Quite light and fluffy. It's, so it tastes like scrambled egg. <laughs> as how it should be. Okay. It is what it is. Okay, no, no. okay try there. Try the second one. Oh, it's not a bit different. Mm. It's less eggy. It's more eggy. Really, man? I feel like this one, in terms of texture, is more firm. This, I can taste less butter. This is moist. I mean, like. Not a huge difference. Mm. Maybe a mild Maybe a mild difference. Okay, eat the only egg. Let's go. go. I'm just gonna assume it's one. It looks like. <laughs> color is the Ota color. It's okay. It's mine as well. Okay. Mashed potato I mean, I don't hate it. The texture is like mashed potato, you're right. Yeah, yeah the mashed potato. We we'll spread it on bread. Not like a bread, like. Hey, but not bad. But this is using eggs. Oh my god, is this those packaged like powdered eggs? Like those like non-egg eggs. So for all these three, right? What's your favorite? Hey, take ready. So this is his favorite. I can't decide between this one and this one. Mm. Only because this one has more butter. So on like more indulgent mornings, you want more buttered eggs. This one is actually really nice. Yeah, I kind of I like this one. Okay, I like this one. Not just because you don't like it, but I like this one. This one is grilled egg. This one is the control. This is the normal chicken egg. This one is the from the packet vegetarian, vegan, non egg egg. I'm gonna guess this one is chicken. Then I'm gonna guess this one is like grilled egg. Then I'm gonna guess salted egg. So you want to find out what eggs are used? Yes. Yeah. Can I have my eyes? Open lah. Oh. Oh. I told you this one. Look. Oh my god, you're so right. This one is confirmed. This one. Yeah. That. That. Yeah. And so got all three correct lah. <gasps> oh my god. Very soon. For me, I personally, I like this better. I find that the egg taste is stronger. Actually, it's very close. It's, it's very yeah, it's, it's very like, close. Yeah. Like the chunk of egg that I took out of this, right? Like the bite was a little bit more. So if you guys never had scrambled eggs using quakes, give it a try. Thank you for helping me to taste. Ah. Crack the work, crack the work. Vegan eggs. Stop eating, crack the work. But it's very nice. Thank you for joining me today in my first episode. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'm going to eat my eggs now. Bye.